A new Chinese coronavirus, a cousin of the SARS virus, has the international community on alert. Since the outbreak began in Wuhan, China in December, the number of people infected and patients who have died keeps climbing. So here's what you need to know about the coronavirus. Coronaviruses are a large group of viruses common among many species of animals, including humans. In rare cases, the virus actually makes a jump from animals to humans, and even more rare, from person to person, which is what scientists believe has happened in this case. Now, typically, uh, coronavirus symptoms include a runny nose, cough, sore throat, possibly a headache, a fever, which can last for several days. For those with a weakened immune system, there's a chance that the virus could cause a lower down and much more serious respiratory tract illness like pneumonia or bronchitis. There have only been two other coronaviruses that have been known to be deadly. The Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, known as the COVID virus. That has okay, enough. Enough with the, uh, should I say, fake news. <clears throat> Those are news, and honestly, uh, these news are not hundred mm, percent true. I'm not. I'm not saying they're completely fake news, but they're not. They're not hundred uh, percent true. Uh, for those guys who know me, I have many friends in China, all over China, all over. You know, just name it from North China, from the Heilu Yang province, all the way to the uh, Wanxi province. I got friends in Beijing, uh, Wanzhou, I got many friends in Wanzhou. I got a good friend in Taiwan. And of course, here in America, I got friends from Hong Kong. And my best friend, uh, uh, from Changja, which is in the Hunan province. Um, I can't remember his Chinese name, but his American name is Jack. And he's really close to the province where the uh, where this terrible thing happened, which is on also on the Hubei province <coughs> and in the city of Hunan. What is coronavirus? Every time I open the news or videos on YouTube, they're all talking about coronavirus. Some are nonsense, and like I say early, some are kind of like a fake news. But I'm really concerned because um, I have many good, good friends in China. And i seen videos on WeChat and Hello Talk, and where some of the Chinese are really brave to talk about talk about against the government the government's authorities in Wuhan which is the city where everything's um, split out they are being fair they've been telling the truth but the central government which is in China they have not been true they haven't been honest they haven't told us the truth of, of course they want to look good uh, with not just the USA, but uh, the whole world. Many friends show me videos of people in the hospital, corpses, dead bodies on the floor in the hospital, where there are many patients seeking for help and just the hospital is not enough. They don't have enough doctors, nurses, specialists, and people to can help. And it's horrible. Uh, I was thinking to send you some videos, show you some videos, but honestly, it's really bad. It breaks my heart whatsoever. Like I said, um, luckily, the three, I have three really good friends, including my girlfriend in Gentai. They're safe. There are cases in, in, in the province, particularly in the city. There are not much cases, but the numbers they are talking about in the whole China are more than the 3,000 cases, they say. Of course, there are more. The coronavirus normally um, incubates for 10, 10 to 15 days. So people don't have a, uh, symptoms. And of course, the 
the virus will will come out sooner, you know, eventually. But there are some people that um, trying to get out the or like Wuhan uh, city, but they're locked down. They're like a twenty cities locked down right now as we speak, and they're gonna be in quarantine. They didn't celebrate the uh, Spring Festival, Chinese New Year. And I heard that many schools, they want to uh, add two more weeks, extend two more weeks for the vacation to going back to school, which honestly, I think that's a good, a good um, precaution they're, they're, they're doing. However, <clears throat> however, there are many people that already came back to America in USA or Canada. Um, they don't know. They don't know if they have the virus. And it's really, it's really bad because um, here in my city, we had one case. An American went to Wuhan city. He came back and he told the authorities that he was feeling good. So until now, I don't know if he's doing good. I hope he's good. News haven't told us nothing. But I heard also, I heard this um, middle-aged uh, businessman from Taiwan. He was on, on the city. He was on the Hubei province. And he flew back to Taiwan. He didn't tell the authorities that he was sick. He took some medication, so he kind of um, fold the, the scanner because when you go to the airport, they scan your body, see if you have a temperature, fever. So he did, he, he passed it. But then the authorities knew that he was in, in Wuhan and he's facing, he's facing jail. He's facing a fine over a, ten thousand dollars i don't know how much in taiwan dollars but for lying for lying to the authorities and putting dangers jeopardy the whole uh, the city which uh, is the city that wasn't Ta uh, taipei the capital it was the south city i think it's called um Kuxian, Kuxian, which is the second biggest city in taiwan so we don't know how many people that are actually there. They don't know if they're sick or not. So I'm just praying for, <clears throat> not just my friends in China, but from all Chinese people, that this virus won't spread, spread as much as it has been already. So this is what I was trying to um, make this video about because, like I said, uh, I've seen many, I've seen many, many videos on WeChat, and it kills me. It kills me because it's like a politic. Um, well, it is a political issue and a health issue, but it's so, so horrible, so awful. Anywho, stay safe uh, wherever you are. Either you're in China or the United States or wherever, stay safe. Mm -hmm. Wear a mask. I am wearing a mask. I work in the hospital, so I have to. I have to. I'm not really worried about uh, here in my city because, like I said, there was only one case. But we have to be vigilant. So I'm going to make another video soon. And I will keep you guys updated about what's going on. Stay cool and be safe.